everyone looks at the rankings, you mentioned them earlier, mm -hmm. but I'm wondering to, so, to what extent are they truly useful when choosing a law school? Because there are other things to consider like placements, specialty areas and such. So I'm wondering if you could talk a little bit about, about the value of going to a regional law school like Brooklyn Law and how students might want to look in factors other than rankings specifically. Yeah, I mean, you mentioned them, and that's what I always say, you know, in terms of um, how strong a school is, you know, in a certain region, or, you know, if I always say, if you want to, let's say, work in oil and gas litigation, go to, go to Texas, you know, go to law school there. Don't go to Brooklyn Law School. <laughs> um, so, you know, things like that. Or, um, you know, um, if, for example, so what I always say is, you know, really do the research. Um, rankings can be helpful. If you get into Harvard Law School, go to Harvard Law School. You know, um, there's, there's no two ways about it. Um, you know, with that said, um, you know, let's say you want to work at a specific office, a specific law firm, you know, in a specific sector, in a specific uh, city. What you should do is you should find out where did all those people come from? What law school did they go to? You'll be surprised. Um, yeah, there's usually some people from the top law firms, but then you'll see maybe like 80% of people come from a specific regional law school that, you know, is a lot cheaper and gets you a lot of connections. Um, so it really just depends. What I always say is look at rankings within a specific um, subject area, as you mentioned. There's a lot of different ways to find that. Um, U.S. News is really just kind of a general, met general ranking that um, whose methodology is not really public. Um, so it is useful in the sense that it's relied on by the entire industry. So students or potential students say, well, this school is ranked better than that, let's say. So, you know, maybe more qualified students will tend to go to X school over Y school. So it kind of perpetuates itself. But in terms of, you know, I want to go to a school that, um, you know, I want to be a prosecutor. Well, shameless plug, Brooklyn Law School is the number one school in the country for prosecutors and public defenders. So, you know, according to Pre-Law Magazine. So there's Pre-Law Magazine, there's Brian Leiter's um, Law School Report, um, there's, um, there's a bunch of others. So you want to really um, look at all these different types of rankings, and ideally they back up the school that feels right for you. You want to look at you know, a, where, where do all the alumni go? Um, so things like that, um, I think are a lot more valuable. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.